Hey, everybody! Hi! It's Kate the Great and Jen. Jen the Hen. Jen the Hen. Jen the Ben. Jen the Len. Jen the Ken. Whatever. Jen and Ken. Jen and Ken. <laughs> Jen and Ken plus 10. There you go. That would have been a show. That would have been a hit show. Dang. <laughs> so, everybody doing okay? We're doing good. We're just being our little quarantine selves. Although, I got my second vaccine today. She's already been vaccinated, so we're getting there. Boom, we're out. We're helping herd immunity. No, I've still got two weeks. Oh, we're getting out of the house, man. One day. One day, one day we're gonna get out of the house. And I'm excited about it, so. Yes, I hope everybody is able to get out soon. Yes, because it's, it's not, I think, I think it, things are easing up. I think more people are going and getting the vaccine and. Numbers are going down. Yeah, numbers are going down. So, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, so, whatever. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, whether you like it or not, we got it. Yeah. You're welcome. Boom. We're part of that percent so that things can start going back to normal. Boo. So I got out of the house today and I had a shitty day. Oh, didn't censor that. There may be some cussing. So a little crappy. A few weeks ago I had to have surgery on my stomach. And those of you that don't know, I've had stomach problems forever. Anyway. The wound wasn't healing properly, and so there was a small hole. And today was one of my post-ops. Um, how big did you say it was? <laughs> oh, it was like this big. No, it was like a dime. Like, not, quite a, not as big as a dime. Like a booty hole. <laughs> so anyway, I went back today, and Beatty, get down. Beatty. And um, it had this... Um, it had an infection. It had green, pasty stuff in it. Anyway, the doc, the nurse line had told me not to do anything but cover it and put baxitracin. Okay, what does baxitracin do? But anyway, so I went today, and this jerk off doctor he comes in and he's like, "Oh, we need to get that cleaned out." Okay, great. Uh, so he grabs a syringe with like saline solution or something in it. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's just gonna squirt it out. This is good, right?" Yeah, well, in his other hand, he had scissors, and he didn't tell me, and he's, like, digging in this hole, and this hole is, like, by my belly button. With the syringe? I don't know. I don't know if it's his finger, his tongue, the syringe. I'm not really sure what it was. <laughs> oh, Maybe it was his wiener. It, it, was hard. it hurt. It could have been his wiener. Um, <laughs> Gross. Censored. It was, it was so... Okay, number one, if you're going to start cutting on someone... How about some lidocaine, folks, or something? Or, or this is going to pinch. A, a heads up, like when you go to the dentist and they're like, oh, it's a little pinch. Little and then pinch. they like shake your jaw, you know. <laughs> no, nothing. Just I'm going to clean it out. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, oh, and you'll need to watch so you know what to do. Okay, this girl here, I don't do blood. She doesn't do blood. I don't do hurt Guts. blood. I don't, nothing like that. Like if you're supposed to, like if you're having a baby, it doesn't bother me because you're supposed to bleed. But... When the kids would hurt themselves when they were little, I'd have them take a picture and send it to Jen and see if I'd take them to the hospital and make sure that shit was covered up so I didn't have to see it. So he's like, you gotta watch. Okay, it's COVID, I couldn't have Jen with me. So I'm trying to watch and out like a light, passed out. <laughs> so that should tell you how bad it hurt oh. and how disgusting it was. What? Who is this guy? Two things. Okay, your Who stomach is skin is kind of sensitive anyway. So, oh, hello. So then he's like, hello. Do you need to take some Tylenol when you're done for the pain? Okay, bitch, get over here and let me circumcise you and you take some Tylenol for the pain. <laughs> Do you think it was really circumcision stuff? Don't you think your belly skin is thin? <laughs> yes, like I do. Circumcision I, skin? Listen, foreskin? The pain you went through, I'm not even gonna joke about it because there's a lot of jokes that were oh. running through my mind, but I can't. It was because horrid. It was a horrible. So that day. wasn't even the worst part. <laughs> there's more, folks. Yeah, and then there's this stupid nurse. She just stands in the corner, I guess, to make sure he doesn't sexually assault me. That's the only thing I can figure out. Yeah, so she, well, she has a bird's eye view because, you know, she's at that end. It's like having a pap smear. <laughs> but 
Yeah. The when things I, that lady's seen. When I was, my eyes are bugging out of my head and she's like, like it's going to hurt. Yeah. I know. I know it's going to hurt. Good why Lord. Didn't she, why didn't they like call you ahead of time to say, hey, get some st well, stuff Well, I don't think they board. knew. Like, I mean, I guess, I don't know. They don't talk to each other, but I'd how about like, just a, a shot to know that first? I yeah. mean, this is like your belly button area. <laughs> It hurts. And That's then he's all like, very tender. So then I had some scab where it had healed nicely. It was healing. Scab means, you know, closing up, whatever. No, he grabs the tweezers and just rips my scabs off. No warning there either. I thought the tweezers were for whatever he was doing. No, he just rips my scabs off. And he's like, blood is good. Okay, stop. Or like, just stop. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to know the name of this doctor so they know oh not to go God. to God. And then, like, it was like he wasn't done. Just, oh, that wasn't enough pain. So then he's like, okay, you got to get this gauze. And he gets a... Um, Q-tip. Q-tip thing. And just starts shoving it in this hole. He's like, you got to get to the sides. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> you have to do that twice a day. Pack it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what planet you're on, but that's not going to happen. I had a friend once. We're not going to mention any names. <laughs> Lebby. <laughs> you know who you are, Leb. But she uh, had a, um, a, a rectum injury and had to get that packed. Hers was large. I mean, I think it was a lot of packing. Mine's not that much. But all I could think of when he's talking about packing it is Leb's. <laughs> Loves packing, and I was like, how? And Lenny, Lenny had a pack. How did she deal with this? How could she have gone with it? Oh, because she didn't have to see it. Because <coughs> it's on her backside. Yeah. Folks, I have to, I'm going to have to deal with this. Yeah, do Why didn't you just do your job right, sir, and close me up correctly so I wouldn't have this problem? This is the phone call I got afterwards. This is what I was listening to on the phone. So oh, I felt horrible. <laughs> yeah. He needs, like, I've read about where you can mail poop to people. No. He needs, like, a shit bomb. He needs you something. You can mail poop to people? I don't know. I've read about things you can do. This man. Don't mail poop to people. Yeah. Like, you need to include some numbing medication. Maybe you need to get with a dentist. <laughs> I don't know, but... It makes me nauseous even thinking about it. And I don't even want to take off. Oh, then wait. He puts a, like a maxi pad on it. I'm not even kidding you. It was this, this long and this thick. Did he give you extra ones? Yes, I have one. I don't know where. It's huge. But he tapes it on my stomach. Oh. He tells me to go take some, some Tylenol. I'm like, oh, so now I have this. Now I look pregnant. I have this big old maxi, maxi pad, pad on, on there. there. My belly button is sore. And stingy because you trimmed my skin, made the yeah. hole bigger. Blood is good, folks. Blood is good. Oh. No. Well, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm terrified of it. What but, if I pass that on you? No, well, you sit in a comfy chair. That way you can sleep. It just for makes a while. me nauseous to think about it. It was horrible. And yeah. Groot, really? <laughs> Groot's gonna add to Groot's your trauma. Me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably, I'm a pretty good patient, I think, but not today. I was losing my cool. <laughs> Her I cool. couldn't get to the car fast enough to take some Tylenol <laughs> in case I have any pain. <sighs> yeah. You're like. I could take two Tylenol and two ibuprofen like you do, and she thinks it's an oxy. If you take the two together, it's just like an oxy. It is, and the secret's out now. Now every person in the world is going to go do my... It don't, is. It works. Don't you worry. I took something a lot stronger than Tylenol. Get rid of that pain. Did it work? Whoa. Yeah, I'm in a much better mood now, but <laughs> I don't want to stab him. I just want to mail him poop. I just want to mail him poop. Okay. And I have to go back in two weeks. Oh. I'm really looking forward to that appointment. You may want to make that appointment when I'm off. You can't go in. Well, I could still go up there and beat him up. If you, want, if you need me to, I'll do it. Good Lord. He hasn't met the gun show. ba pew ba pew yeah, well, I'm going to bring my own scissors. I don't want to rip my shirt, you guys, so I'm not going to flex too much, okay? I'm bringing I like scissors this shirt. next time, and I'm going to circumcise him. 
Because, you know, you're laying on that table and his crotch is just right there. Ugh. Anyway. She's had a very traumatic day. Yes. I was not expecting that when I went to the doctor today. Trauma. Yeah. Well. It's like going in for a, a foot manicure massage and coming out without a pinky toe. <laughs> Just wasn't like, expecting. where'd you hide the treasure? Yeah, I just kind of wasn't expecting that. I bet. <sighs> well, I'm really sorry about your bad day. Yeah. It sucks. You feel like you got it off your chest a little bit? Until I have to unpack. Yeah. Well, I'll help you. Unpack the wound. Well. And repack it. Well, I think that might be a job. <sighs> for, for Lev. For Lenny. <laughs> We put L's in front of everybody's names so you don't know who they are. Not everybody. What was that show? Um, Laverne and Shirley. And remember that nerdy guy? Wasn't his name Lenny? Lenny, yeah. yeah. Lenny. That's our oh, Lenny. That is. I am like Lenny. I, I know. had a hair like this. Exactly. My hair just sticks straight up wherever it wants to. Yeah. And I really comb it back when I leave. I try to comb it back and it does not. It comes forward. So it is what it is. So I hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. Yes, the BD. Yeah, everybody had BD. The one day of the year when everybody has BD. Not everybody. Who will? I have a lifetime Valentine, my son. One of our, when, when the kids were little with four boys, <clears throat> when Valentine's Day would come, they'd always ask me a year in advance to be their Valentine. And whoever was the first one to ask me, you know, I'd say, yeah, sure, I'll be your Valentine. And one of our children was um, the quickest. He'd come in like at midnight and ask me to be his Valentine. And then I think he asked me once, can I be your Valentine for five years or something like that? Anyway, for so they, I belonged to this t-shirt group and they had little boy shirts that said, sorry ladies, my mama's my Valentine. They're toddler shirts. And I said, hey, could you make one of those in a big boy, big man size? And they're like, yeah, but why would you want to? Don't ask questions, just make me a shirt. Just make me the shirt. So I gave it to him. And he thought it was very funny. Uh, I gave it to him like two weeks before Valentine's Day, probably. Yeah. And then he had one made for me secretly that said, sorry, ladies, my son is my Valentine. So it was just kind of funny. Tears. Tears. He's a cutie. Made tears come so, down. So I, I have a lifetime for, forever, Valentine. forever Valentine. That's what that's what boy mamas get. Jen's my second Valentine. Yeah, I made number two. Number two. Y'all know what number one is. Number two. Number I, there's two. shirts that say I pooped today. Did you need yeah, one of those? You I made, made a number two. I made a number two. I'm on number two. So. Oh, well. So, yes. What else were we going to talk about? Oh, the scare. <clears throat> so, as you all know, I love to scare people. So, I thought I would give you... I'm going to give you a quick lesson. Okay. How about... Every time I'll give you another lesson because oh. I got a lot of lessons with scares. So I scare a lot of people. Love it. I have a friend um, at work and she likes to scare people. We kind of share that in common. Our kids like to scare. Yeah. Yeah. We love to freaking scare people. So <clears throat> number one of the lessons of the art of the scare is listen, when you're hiding somewhere and you're going to jump out and scare them, <clears throat> you need to be loud. I mean, like you yell like you're getting the one being killed. Makes people whiz every single time. I mean, just a, ah, like as loud as you can. And you'll make people pale, white, cuss. Pass out? Pass. Some people pass out. I've had some interesting things, so. But, uh, and at the end of this video, I have a scare for you guys that um, I did while I was working. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but it's fun to scare people. Not mean, don't be mean and hit them with a hammer and steal their money, scare. Just jump out I and scare I think that's them. mugging. Oh, mugging, don't scaring. Mug what, uh, you know, same thing. Maybe you could scare my doctor and give him a heart attack. I, I could do that. I'm really good at it. I'm like a little ninja. I'm all. We've taught. I've taught Gert to do that because he, um, Gert, our cat. There's like a hallway to our bedroom, and so ever since he was little, I would stand. 
in that hallway and then when he you could hear him come around the corner and I jump out and scare him and he jumps really high so now the back of the couch has like you know where you have a recliner has extra material there so you can't see the legs of the couch or whatever so he'll hide behind that and when I walk by the couch then he jumps out and scares me and then he was hiding in a like a place for a chair at a desk and you could hear the other cat coming around and I said watch this and the cat's coming and Groot jumped out and scared the cat <laughs> So even our cats are part of our scare cam. Someone wants to make a debut. It's not a debut. She's debut. in every one. Debut or debut? Debut, but she's in debut. all of them. Debut. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. She's the one that got scared. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. She's a dancer. Anywho. <laughs> so she's so going to stab you. <laughs> I know. I'm a, little, I'm a little scared by just uh, disregarding her, but whatever. Um, we love you guys and thanks for hanging out with us and listening to our, our little, uh, spiel and Kate got a lot off her chest tonight. And so we may want to, all of you in the medical profession, <laughs> <laughs> not all of you. I do tonight. Yeah. Okay. Well, tonight, I don't know how I'm going to pack this. We'll get it, baby. I, I can actually go 12 hours, so maybe I don't have to do it till tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be all right. Hmm. Oh, and then you'll be at work? I go do it tomorrow night. We'll do it tomorrow night. That <laughs> sounds good to me. We love you guys, and just keep being cool. Keep watching our videos. Keep being safe. Send your friends the video. Let's get some more people going. If you have any questions or comments or want us to answer anything, put want to know down my below. doctor's name? Want to know the doctor's name of who not to go to? We also know every um, contractor. contractor in the world to not hire. So we, we do know some stuff. We're pretty good at uh, things like that. So, but uh, you let us know. We love you guys. Yes, keep being safe, keep being kind. And just have fun and scare people. Send me some videos of you scaring people. That'd be funny. Yes. I I'll love give you a shout out. Love that. I will totally give you a shout out and I'll add it to our videos. So all that. So you guys be cool. Adios, muchachos. Thank you.